And I wanted to issue uh, uh, something relative to my state. About a month ago, the New Jersey Board of Public Utilities approved the nation's largest combined offshore wind award to construct a total of 2,658 megawatts of wind capacity. And I think this is going to create a lot of jobs and economic, ben economic benefits to New Jersey. But I recognize there are challenges to constructing the transmission infrastructure necessary to accommodate a large increase in offshore wind, uh, and that FERC explored these issues during a technical conference last year. So can I ask you again, Chairman Click, can you help us understand what these transmission-related challenges are and what Congress can do to help ensure that this necessary infrastructure gets built in an efficient and cost-effective manner to achieve our clean energy goals? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And, you know, as I understand it, there's about 30,000 megawatts of planned um, offshore wind facilities that are currently in the, in the process through the government bidding system already. And so we're, we did have a technical conference on this issue. We also actually addressed this issue. We tried to address this issue in our advance notice of proposed rulemaking that we proposed a couple of weeks ago, asking a number of questions in this area. But in particular, I think the issue has to do with planning. We currently plan for transmission Trying to, trying to figure out what's already a long, long line, what, what, trans, what generation plan is about to be built, but we don't do any long-term planning. Again, we know there's going to be 30,000 megawatts at least of offshore wind off the eastern United States, but we don't plan the grid for that. So that, that would be the number one area I think we need to focus on is, is having a better improved planning system to make sure we know what's going to be out. We know that the offshore wind is going to get built. How do we build the transmission grid to access that energy and bring it onshore? Yeah, I mean, it's really important and I, you know, a challenge because I know the state, uh, you know, has very ambitious plans over the next 10 years and, I, and I'm very happy to hear that they are. Uh, 